Welcome back to another lesson. In this lesson, we're going to talk about diminished chords. Basically, what they are and where they fit in your playing. Uh, let me start by explaining what a diminished chord is, and we're mo mostly going to focus on diminished seventh chords. So, to construct a diminished chord, say a C diminished, first pick out C, then go up three semitones, one, two, three, another three semitones, and this would be a C diminished chord, and if you wanted a C diminished seventh chord, you would add another note, another three semitones above it. So this is a C diminished seventh chord. Another example, let's pick uh, B flat. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And this is a B flat diminished seventh chord. And you can construct 12 of these chords. Now the first thing to note when dealing with diminished seventh chords is that in reality there are only three different ones. Let me show you why. Here's our C diminished seventh chord. Now let's build an E flat diminished seventh chord. So we're going to start with E flat, go up three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And here's an E flat diminished seven. Now know that if I just invert this C, take it an octave down, I get my C diminished seven. That is, both chords have the exact same notes. C diminished seventh, E flat diminished seventh. And if I go up another three semitones and repeat the construction, so if I build uh, a G flat diminished seventh, I'm still going to get the th same four notes and the same for a diminished seventh. So these three notes, sorry, these four chords are actually the same chord played with the different inversions. So here's this, so this is one group, C, E flat, uh, G flat and A. The second group is D flat, E, G and B flat and the third group is D, F, uh, A flat and B and then we start repeating ourselves so this makes things a little bit easier when thinking about diminished seventh chords now in terms of where to actually use them so let me show you three uses for diminished chords. Uh, in the first use, suppose you want to reach a particular chord, say an A chord, and it could be an A minor or A major, then you can precede it with a diminished seventh chord that is one semitone below it. So, if my target is A minor, then the diminished seventh chord, a semitone, below it would be take the A, go down one semitone, construct A flat diminished seven, and then play A minor. So here is a D flat diminished seventh going into a D minor. Uh, and, you, and you can do it with any with any minor or major chord. Let's do it with a major chord. The second place where you can use a diminished chord is if you have a chord, and this works particularly well with major chords, you can precede it with a diminished seventh chord on the same note. So here's a C, and here's a C diminished seven. And you see they actually lead to each other quite nicely. So now we have actually two options for leading into C. We can do a diminished seventh chord on C, which is the second approach, 
or we can build a diminished chord, a semitone below C, which would be a B diminished 7. So, this is the first trick, and now the second. And finally, the third kind of trick uh, works, I think, best when you have minor chords, and that is if you have a, say, a D minor chord, then you can precede it with a diminished seventh chord, a semitone above it. So, for D minor, I would go to one semitone above it, E flat build E flat diminished seventh and that would lead into D minor seventh now using these three principles we can sort of try and understand the say the little progression I played at the beginning of the video so I'm gonna play it again and I'm gonna play it slowly and dissect the harmonic progressions I'm playing. So I started with C and then I moved into so this is an a D flat diminished seventh going into D minor. Then I have the exact same trick, an E flat diminished seventh going into an E minor. And then I repeat the first trick. So this is D flat diminished seven going into a D minor. And then into a G. And I could actually if I want to go into a C, which I do, I could play a a B diminished seven here, or one of its inversions. And Another thing I can do is, if I wanted to go into an A minor, I could play an A flat diminished seventh, which would go into an A minor. So, so instead of playing just a G and then an A minor, I could play a G, A flat diminished seventh, going into an A minor, or A minor seventh, or one of these variations. And here's the third trick. Meaning a diminished seventh, a semitone above D minor, going into a D minor. I find that diminished chords and diminished seventh chords kind of give uh, your music maybe kind of a 40s kind of or 30s kind of feel to it. They were extensively used in jazz uh, and, and you can actually kind of hear this kind of harmonic character uh, in, in very old songs. So these might be a good source of inspiration if you're trying to find out uh, or to get ideas of what to do with the mini seventh chords. Uh, that's it. I hope you've learned something interesting and I'll see you next time.